Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brandon and today we're going to be dredging this small country pond. Just bought this property about two weeks ago. And when we first got here, this is all algae, all lilies, all leaves. This is originally a deep pond and because it was never maintained, it just turned into a swamp. Now what you see now has been a lot of progress. We dredged that way, that way, this way, and now you see that chunk there with the cattails and that grass and all those leaves. That's a lot of debris. I tried doing it by hand, but it's not practical. So here's my little redneck thing I got going on. I brought off this snapper uh, tractor when we moved here. Damn thing wouldn't start up. So obviously it's no good. I'm gonna go ahead and take this tractor and pull straight that way. And I'm gonna dredge everything in its path and hopefully pull that big hunk of grass, leaves and cattails out of the pond and onto the property. So that way, I can go ahead and rake it. But this is outdated. It's just not worth it. Just not worth yeah. it. You guys ready? This is Redneck Pond Excavating Dredging. This is how you do it, because I can't afford no bobcat. All right. Everyone stay clear. We'll see how this turns out. All right, you recording? Now. Uh, before I pull this, my bumper over here has a crack. That was already cracked, so as I pull, you're gonna see the bumper flap up. I'm not worried about it, I'm gonna replace it. So, here we go. Holy crap. We got swirling grass over there. What the heck? <laughs> and here's all the stuff I just pulled on the first round. As you can see, I just cleared a path. And I dislodged a whole bunch of masses in there. I'm going to go ahead and rehook up, see if I can pull this side in now. Alright, let me pause it. I pulled it out a little bit farther. This is showing all the gunk we got out. So it looks like the tractor was useful after all. <laughs> but once again, we got to give it another go. It came untied. 